Fair Value Gaps can literally tell you everything you need to know about the markets in order to take the right decisions and become consistently profitable. Hence why in today's video, I will share with you everything you need to know about them. Firstly, I will show you how easy it is to identify a bullish or bearish Fair Value Gap. And secondly, I will show you how I personally use them on a daily basis by going over two trades I took and also sent in my SMC trading group. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop on the chart. All right, so as I just mentioned, I will firstly show you how to identify a bullish and a bearish fair value gap. Let's start off with the bullish fair value gap. For that, I'm gonna use the bar replay mode. And all you gotta ask yourself is if the top of the candlestick is overlapping with the bottom of the third consecutive candlestick. So right here we have three bullish candles. This is the first, this is the second, and this is the third. In this example, we can see that the top of the first candlestick isn't overlapping with the bottom of the third consecutive candlestick. Hence why we have a fair value gap right here, a bullish fair value gap. Let me see if I can find a, uh, another example. Okay, I think I found one right here okay we have another bullish fair value gap we can see we have three candlesticks one two three the top of the first candlestick is right here of the third of the uh, three candlestick formation and the bottom of the third consecutive candlestick is right here we can see that they aren't overlapping hence why we have a bullish fair value gap right here okay so uh, now let me quickly show you a um, a bearish example right here i see a, a very clear one before i continue with the video i briefly wanted to mention that if you want to get access to the trades i am taking on a daily basis you should go ahead and join my smc trading group it is the first link down below in the video description Right here we have uh, three consecutive candles um, and for the bearish fair value gap you gotta ask yourself this is the bottom uh, of the first candlestick uh, of the uh, three candlestick formation overlapping with the top of the third consecutive candlestick if the answer to that is no then we have a bearish fair value gap if the answer is yes then we don't okay because if the um, the bottom is touching with the top of the third consecutive uh, candlestick there's no fair value gap but in this case we can see that they aren't overlapping so very clear bearish example and now let's uh train together using the bar replay mode so right here from the get-go i can already see a bullish fair value gap we can see that the top isn't overlapping with the bottom let's continue right here we now have a bearish fair value gap we can see that the bottom of the candlestick isn't overlapping with the top so for the bearish example you gotta ask yourself is the bottom overlapping with the top of the third consecutive candlestick and for the bullish example you gotta ask yourself is the top overlapping with the bottom of the third consecutive candlestick it is that simple okay so let's continue to get some few more examples right here once again bottom of the candlestick top of the third consecutive candlestick they don't overlap so we have a bearish fair value gap let's uh, continue once again right here we have another bearish fair value gap and i would highly recommend you to to train it like this as well after you watch this uh, video once again here we have another bearish fair value gap okay we can see the bottom isn't overlapping with the uh, top and let's check for some few more bullish examples as well before uh, we move on to the next step where i will show you how i personally use the bullish and the bearish for value gaps on a daily basis um, by going over two trades i took and also sent in my smc trading group and of course make sure you are subscribed to the channel to not miss out on future content like this Right here, once again, we have a bullish fair value gap. The top isn't overlapping with the bottom of the third consecutive candle. We can move on. Once again, right here, check this out. If we zoom in, we have another bullish fair value gap. The top isn't overlapping with the bottom of the third candle. Sometimes you have to zoom in a lot to make sure if there's a fair value gap or not. And as y'all can see, it is pretty straightforward and pretty easy to identify these fair value gaps. Once again, right here, we have another bullish one okay so now i assume 
that you already know how to identify a bullish or a bearish Fair value gap, hence why I will now show you how I uh, use them on a day-to-day -day basis. The first trade I will go over is GBP USD, and this is exactly when I opened the chart. And the first thing that I saw was that the uh, market was intraday bullish. Okay, we can see that it was heading higher and higher. And after that, after I saw these breaks of structure, I also saw a break of structure right here. I then also saw that we had a very beautiful fair value gap right here, okay? And this shows me that the bullish momentum is uh, taking over, okay? That the bulls are more powerful than the bears, okay? This is how I basically use fair value gap, to know whether the bulls are in control or the bears are in control. And right here, I opened the chart and from the get-go, I saw this very beautiful bullish fair value gap that clearly told me that, hey, the bulls are now in control. Look for bullish setups, okay? After I identified this fair value gap, I also saw that, stru that structure was broken right here as well, okay? This was a major level of structure in my opinion. Before last step I then looked for was to see if liquidity was swept as well. And the answer to that was yes. I considered this whole move right here to the downside to be a fake out, to be a liquidity grab, because after that, the market showed its true intentions by trending to the upside with this impulsive push right here. After I saw that we have a liquidity sweep as well, the final step was for me to identify a unmitigated demand level. And this is also where uh, for value gap is so important because it showed me exactly where the unmitigated demand level was. I know I had a uh, fair value gap right here, a bullish fair value gap. I looked left and I saw a bearish candle that had imbalance on it because I knew that fair value gap, uh, that imbalance was left behind. Hence why I took this as my unmitigated demand level and I placed a buy limit right on it. And I also sent it in my SMC trading group. I will attach a picture on the screen right now to show you all exactly when this trade was sent. And the final target was at one to three risk to reward ratio. Now let's play it and see what happened. Right here it triggered for a very beautiful sniper reaction and all the take profits were smashed. As we can see, very beautiful trade. And of course, I will now attach a picture on the screen to show you all exactly when I updated that this trade smashed all the targets. And you can see how important um, the fair value gap was for me uh, in, this, uh, in this setup to identify this, uh, this setup and also take it. Because if there was no fair value gap here, there wouldn't be a setup. For me, it is very important to have a fair value gap because right here we can see that everything was mitigated. Right here, everything was mitigated. There was no fair value gap. The only fair value gap was this one right here that we discussed about. And based on this fair value gap, I was then able to take this beautiful buy limit setup that smashed all the targets. And of course, feel free to join the SMC trading group. It is the first link down below in the video description. Now let's move on to the second example. The second trade example will be on US 30 and it will be a sell limit. Okay, so it was right here when I opened the chart on that specific day. And here I saw that price was intraday bearish. Why? Because firstly, I saw that price was breaking structure to the downside, heading lower and lower. And secondly, I saw a very beautiful bearish fair value gap right here that told me that the bears are in control, okay? Because that's why I look for fair value gap, to see uh, if the bears or bulls are in control. And in this case, it was very clear to see that the uh, bears were in control. We had a very big bearish momentum. And because of that, I was more keen to look for bearish setups, okay? Seeing that market broke structure to the downside continuously, we had a break of structure right here as well, okay? Caused by uh, this huge 
um, impulsive move towards the downside. I then look to the left to see if we have a liquidity grab as well, if we have a fake out to the upside in this case. And the answer to that was yes. We had a liquidity sweep right here, okay, um, above this high with this impulsive move towards the upside that turned out to be a fake out. Why was it a fake out? Because immediately after liquidity was grabbed here, price showed its true intentions by breaking structure to the downside very impulsively. And after that, the last step was for me to identify the unmitigated supply level, which was ultimately the point of origin of this massive push. And guess what? I identified it with the help of the bearish fair value gap. Knowing that we have a fair value gap here, I then spotted this unmitigated supply level. Okay, so once again, you can see how important it is to know how to identify these fair value gaps. And now the last step was for me to place a sell limit right on this, um, on this supply level. Okay, the stop loss right above it and the uh, final target at 3R, okay? And of course, I sent it in my SMC trading group as well. I will attach a picture on the screen right now to show you exactly when I uh, sent it. And now let's play the price and see what happened. Check this out. It literally triggered here for a very beautiful sniper reaction. Literally almost no drawdown as we can see. And then, in the next two candles, all the targets were smashed. Okay, so it was a very beautiful sniper entry. And of course, I will now attach a picture on the screen to show you exactly when I updated that the trade smashed all the uh, targets. And once again, you can see how I used the uh, fair value gap concept in order to identify this beautiful setup. And um, on that note, let me know if there's any unclarities, if there's any questions, any feedbacks down below in the comments section, that will be very much appreciated. And if you found this video valuable, feel free to share and like it, okay, to spread some, uh, to spread some value. And um, till next time, a very important video will pop on the screen right now, a video where, where I share six things I wish I knew when I started trading uh, that you will be able to know in order to have a easier and faster journey towards profitability. And um, yeah, I want to wish you all the best and see you all in the next video. Take care.